So, boy, army, welcome to another video on the channel. Rule Breakers Team 2 is here. Some spicy players. I'm going to read the list off to you, and then I'm going to open my free Jumbo Rare Players Packs, and then we're going to look at the players. We're going to go through them, review them. I'll tell you which ones I think are good. Um, just give you a general idea of the new promo, what you think of it, whether you think it is going to be good enough, any of the players that can fit into your team. We have Angel Di Maria. Marco Royce, Romelu Lukaku, Pauli Pogba, Jose Jimenez, Juan Cuadrado, Alex Texera, Daniel Padense, Chalobnu, I don't know if that's how I pronounce it, but the Turkish Milan winger, Van Arnholt, and geez, an 88 pace of power. Hopefully, we'll pack one of these. I've saved my packs for it. Let's get into it. At least just give me a card worth 50k plus. That's what I want. Free jumbos, surely. This was from a 30, you know. It's a walkout. Larise. Not the worst pull. A walkout. You take it. Obviously, you you want better than that, but... I said a walkout, so I think he's like 20k, maybe. Could be someone else in there, doubt it. Uh, Ricardo Pereira Rodrigo. Not bad. Oh, he's not worth a lot. 30k. That's that's not bad compared to some jumbos you'll get. If I got that in all of them, I'd take it. Uh, we'll probably quick sell a lot of these. Uh, yeah. It's an okay pack. Not what we want, is it? But Okay. Can we get back-to-back -back walkouts? What are the promo packs and what are the odds of getting spending coins? <laughs> so a rule breakers play, it's a 1.2% chance. 1.2. So with a jumbo pack, it's probably around 2%. So you'd have to open 50 of these to get a rule breakers play. Like that is criminal, those odds. So walk out again. Brazil. Oh. It's not the Brazilian walkout you want, but we've got back to back walkouts and the keepers. Like, if you'd have told me back to back walkouts, I'd be excited, but keepers, it's. Mm. Oh, Cruz as well. Oh, he's actually worth a bit, you know. Jeez, I didn't expect him to be worth that much. Reguilon's well cheap, I think. Just quickly sell him. Is Felix worth anything anymore? He is discard. Jeez. The prices on players this year are absolutely stupid. We'll quickly go through these. Crows, you can go. Okay, we've got one more pack and then we're going to actually look at some of the players. Can we pack a rule breaker in the last one? The odds are against us. I mean, can we get three walkouts in a row? Probably not. Nope. It's a board, but probably means it's going to be some crap. Oh, it's the team of the week. Does that mean you can still get a walkout? Don't think so. At least that's 10k. Huh. Two team of the weeks. It's a 20k, 20k up front. Anything else? Pretty crap pack in general for the rest of it. Um... My last worth a bit. I'll sell the, all this stuff later on. No point in sorting it out now. Well, a bit disappointing. Uh, it's pretty rare I ever get one of the promo players, to be fair. So let's actually look at the Rule Breakers cards then. This is my current team. I'm going to be playing with this weekend. I'm going to be streaming it tomorrow live on Twitch. We managed to bring Rude Boy Hullet into the team, Samuletto. Let's make a new squad though for the rule breakers. Watch it end up being a censored word or some rubbish. Okay. Start off with the bottom one. Opara. Nope, not Opaza. They love Opara on EA, do for some reason. 
Just too hard to link into a team. Okay. Two star, two star. Instantly not good. 88 pace. Wow. Very good on the ball. Very good passing. He will be pretty nutty at this point in the game. Unfortunately, I don't know how you're fitting him into your team. And because he'll be on seven chemistry, he's not going to be any faster than a Gomez or Varane. He's also weaker. Good defender, but not insane. He is a good card. If you're running an MLS team, he'll be one of the best centre-backs in the game. Pretty exciting card if he was in like the Prem. But otherwise, you're going to struggle to fit him in. I just wish... I wish these promos, they would make it so like the cards didn't need the same chemistry or something. It'd make it so much easier. Okay, this Van Aanholt, they've upgraded his defense a lot by the looks of it. Three star skill moves, four star weak. Now that's pretty good. High, low, attacking, defensive. I'm not sure you want that fullback. I mean, he's one of the best left backs in the game now. I just don't know if that work rate is going to ruin the card. Um, his defending is very good. His physical's pretty solid. Like, he's really good. If the work rates are okay, I think he's the best left back in the Prem now. But I don't know how those work rates are going to be. Uh, Chow Log, new. A in the centre back. We're just going through the ratings in order, so. Four star, four star. Okay, he's going to be a bit of a beast. Yeah, if you put him at camp, even Lamb. He's going to be pretty nutty. He's got very solid dribbling. I think you'd probably want to put a Deadeye to get that passing and shooting up. Or maybe even a Maestro. Um, it's a good card. I don't think it's elite. He has a few too many weaknesses. He could even be a pretty good centre mid, actually. He's a bit weak, but like his defending stats are good enough. You could get away with him in centre mid or CDM next to a really good defensive player. Decent card. Uh, Daniel Pedenzo. Eighty-eight dribbling, eighty-eight pace. What's his? Okay, four star, four star. He is tiny. Geez, five five. I mean, he's weak, but he has great aggression for that. Um, someone with that agility, balanced dribble. He's got one of the best sets of dribbling stats in the game right now. Um, I think he could actually be a really good card with a hunter, ninety-nine XL, nice experience speed, ninety-one finishing, high shot power. It's a good card. I'd be interested to see how much he ends up going for, but I rate that card. I just don't know if he'll be a bit lightweight in game, but he also could be unreal on the ball. Okay, Alex Texera. I reckon this card could be pretty decent, you know. Okay, what are we looking at? Four star, four star. Really good. Put a hunter on. He's rapid. Um, yeah, that card's crazy. I'm tempted to replace my Marnie with him if he's a reasonable price. Out wide, he'd be a very good player. Rapid, high shooting, um, decent passing, very good on the ball. It's better than I expect. That that card for an 83, like, I don't know how it's an 83. If you look at his stats that matter that are above 83. Pace, finishing, shot power, positioning long shots. Even his vision's good. High agility, dribbling. Great card. What's he going at right now? Let's have a look. Yeah. 300k. I mean. 280. If he settles at like 150, 200, pick him up if you run the team that suits him. Okay, the next one. One of the things I love about Primers is that they add more squad building options. Juan Quadrado. Let's have a look at him. Okay, I think his defending was rubbish on some of his other cards. This is going to help him a lot. He's okay physically. Not great, but okay. Very good on the ball. Good passing. Rapid. And he's going to have the defending now. With CR7, this is a strong link now. And he's a very good fullback. One of the better ones. I don't think he's brilliant. But... Um, it's a lot better than his other card, so that's pretty good. Okay, another great option in um, La Liga now. Jose Jimenez, basically La Liga Laporta. 
Very strong, like very good physicals. He's quick. With Shadow on, he becomes one of the best centre backs in the game. His passing's fine. He's going to have elite defending, elite physical. He's probably going to be cheaper than he should be as well. He looks really good. Depends what price he settles at. But he's a very, very good centre-back on this game. Definitely rate that card. Okay, Pogba. What have they changed with Pogba? So, he's got two more pace. Ah, okay. They've really buffed his defending. Interesting. I'd like a bit more pace. They swapped his passing for defending. Okay. Mm. Five star, four star. I mean, a lot of that defending is in heading. With a shadow, he should be a beast at CDM. I'd like him to change his work rates as well. I'm not sure about this card. He'll be good on the ball, but not amazing. Okay at shooting, but not amazing. Even with a shadow, he's not going to be that quick. He'll be quick, but not rapid. His defending will be elite, but he's not going to be that good at passing anymore. Like This card's probably going to cost a lot more than it should. I'm a bit disappointed with that. I think the passing's been taken down a bit too much. It's okay, but yeah, I'm not too excited about that Pogba card. Uh, Lukaku. Quite a nice buff to his pace. He's lost a lot of physical, but he's got a nice buff to his dribbling. Hmm. Four star weak for lack of skills is a bit annoying. I think Lukaku should have at least four star skills. He's pretty skillful in real life. Um, I think he'll be good. Put a hunter on him. He has 98 movement finishing, 94 shot power, 98 sprint speed. Other than CR7, he's the best striker in Serie A now. Belgium, good links. Um, he does look very good. Will he be that good at dribbling in game? I'd be interested to see. Um, he's going to have a big body type 6-3 I'm not sure I'll actually feel that good in game I can't test him yet obviously but interesting card if he dribbles well and isn't clunky then he's a beast uh, Marco Royce I mean initially looking at this card doesn't look that good but let's have a look what have they actually done to him massive boost to his physical Slight nerf to his passing. Um, four star, four star. Very nice physically for someone who's that good across the board. Good dribbler. Good card. Not amazing. Again with a hunter, suddenly does look very good, but he's not elite enough at dribbling for make me that excited. I think he will play well. He's very good well round. Probably again going to be more expensive than he should be. The last one's D Maria. The problem I'm going to have with this card is probably going to be the weak foot. Yeah, they've not changed the weak foot. Uh, what have they taken off of him? Passing for pace. Yeah, you'd rather have the pace. I mean, if he had four-star weak foot, he's arguably better than Messi on the game because he's a lot faster. But the weak foot just killed this card. He's a great dribbler. He's good physically with a hunter. He'll have 99 pace and 91 finishing. I just think the lack of weak foot's going to kill a card like this, unfortunately. So, don't think I can really recommend him. At a high level, you're just going to struggle too much with that. Let's have a quick look at the team again. Okay, Apara, good if you can get on Kem. Van Aanholt, looks very, very good, but I'm not sure about the work rate. Chalognu, pretty good. This Pedense could be a bit of a beast. Texera. He's up there for the best card. Genuinely, like, he looks insane. Quadrado, good, but will probably be overpriced. Jimenez, I think, could be very good value. What's he going at right now? Uh, we'll get the rule breakers. Uh, look, he's already, like, 200, 200-odd K. He could go to, like, 100, 150. And you have to remember, this card's about as good as Laporte's. Just not French or Lali or Prem. Pogba, disappointing to be honest. If they'd have upped his pace to like low 80s, maybe a bit better. But one of the things that makes Pogba so good is his passing being high. And his passing's pretty average now. Lukaku, amazing card if he dribbles like the card says. Royce, good all round but not that special. Jack of all trades, master of none. 
Demaray, weak foot ruins it. Boys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope little reviews like this help. Let me know if you like me putting the um, packs at the beginning, little um, pack openings. Appreciate you watching the video. Thank you very much for the support as always. Have a great evening.